You know what they always say, right? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. And it proves it. This is Mega Man NG, and we are back with yet another TMNT Season 1 episode review. Today, we talk about the episode Enemy of My Enemy. Let's get started. I'll provide a summary as well as some points that I like. Though I gotta make this short because I'm running late. It's my fault as always. Let us get started. The Krang strikes again with another invasion scheme. Seeing the danger, Karai wishes to form an alliance with the Turtles, but they nicely turn her down. Realizing the seriousness of the situation, they have no choice. Karai also mentions that the Shredder is expecting some weapons, and this would be an opportunity for them to gain an advantage. Things go well, but when the Turtles plan to use them to hopefully defeat the Shredder, the alliance comes to a close. Now, in an extremely picky situation, can the Turtles be able to survive against not only the Krang, but also Karai and the Shredder? I mean, I'm being melodramatic with this. This episode was great. M really more action-packed, and I really am enjoying this ep these episodes big time. For starters, Karai is back once more, but the rivalry between her and Leonardo go into full throttle, especially at the end with an important re realization, or rather a revelation if you want to explain it, because I was pretty poor when it came to taking my notes. I'll explain that in a bit, but before we do, we also get our hands on another first appearance. This is the first appearance of Ivan Storanko, voiced by Fred Tataskior. But we know Ivan Storanko in this series as the future Rocksteady. This is before when he's all human and with like a metal eye, like something in his eye. Like a silver eye thing or something. He has an old friendship with the Shredder and you can probably guess that this is a clue to what's going to eventually happen down the line. But for his first appearance, Storanko isn't that much of a threat. He's more like a businessman type and he speaks Russian. How fitting too. But for his first appearance, I liked it. The episode is still the usual TMNT versus Krang shtick, but there is in fact a bit of a twist. The twist here now is the foot, due to the involvement of the Shredder as well as Karai. Like I mentioned already, Karai is trying her hardest to pretty much woo Leo into the dark side. But who knows how that would go turn out, especially at the end of the episode, when the Alliance bits the dust and now Leo and Karai are, fo are forced to fight. And it's not an easy fight to say the least, in fact it is an intense fight. An intense yet interesting battle between these two which shows their similarities and their differences. And we also get the realization that, spoilers, Karai is Shredder's daughter. Leo was surprised, and eventually the other turtles would find out as well. But if Slinner were to find out, let's just say there's more truth than you would probably, or rather possibly imagine. I don't even know where to start with this because when I found out about it, I was pretty surprised. Remember, I did watch the later seasons, season 4 and onwards, but this is my first time with the realization sting. Or rather, realization thing. And it was a pretty surprising twist. No wonder Karai is so loyal to the Shredder, as it really does show throughout the entire episode. The Shredder doesn't seem to take the Krang seriously as a threat, but I wouldn't bet on it especially with how it ended when the Shredder got his hands on a Krang brain. And as you saw in the screenshot here, well, hopefully this could help them find out more about the Krang. What will happen? Who knows? But what I will say is that the Turtles, or rather this episode, was really good. This is yet another episode that focuses on Leo, but I feel that his relationship with Karai also shows a sense of vulnerability. Yeah, for some reason I feel like Leo's pretty much the Boy Scout, trying to be all the nice guy, trying to convince Karai that there is a bit of good yada yada yada. You know, the usual hero trope. However, here I think his insecurities might have bit him in the butt. Especially with what his own plan was in take going out the Shredder just so they can get a missile launcher to take out the Krang ship. Speaking on the Krang ship, the Krang brought out the heavy artillery, and the stealth ship is proof. It's a deadly threat, so much so that the Turtles try to take it down, but to no avail. It took a weapon that Shredder had to actually do so. And also we get to see more of Shredder in action, and Shredder is still just as dangerous. He really is still just as dangerous. Remember, he's the big bad of the series. And being a big bad makes him even more devastating. And I like that, truthfully. 
And no matter, and sure, the Turtles did try to push Shredder down on numerous occasions, but not in this instance. The only way he was able to go down was due to the crank ship that pretty much crashed. Well, who knows what's going to happen now that that ship is destroyed. There were a lot of favorite moments, such as the encounters between Leo and Karai, the Krang stealth ship being a threat, the chase to avoid the Shredder in the warehouses and the harbor and the pier, and there was the big battle between Leo and Karai as well as the Turtles against the Shredder. Overall, a great action-packed episode, and I loved it big time. I really did love it a lot, and... I hope that the rest of the season does deliver. We are down to pretty much six episodes left. Next week will be two more episode reviews. One of them you'll be seeing at 12 o'clock, which is usual, which is Karai's Vendetta. But the other, I'm following the season code because according to the TMNT wiki, two episodes were aired out of order. Parasitica and The Pulverizer Returns. So what you're getting next week are my reviews of episodes 21 and 23, when in truth is actually episode 22, Parasitica. I'll explain when that comes. My rating for the episode is in the description. If you know me, then this is a no-brainer. That is pretty much it, or rather, that is pretty much going to be it for this TMNT episode review. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please be sure to hit the like button. It really does mean a lot to me. I hope you guys show your support, because it really does help big time. This is Mega Man NJ signing off. Peace out. See you next week with more TMNT reviews. Booyakasha!